Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we'll cover how to create and analyze a basic fixed income portfolio in Excel. This video is tailored to those who are new to fixed income, which refers to investments that provide regular income, typically in the form of bonds or debt securities. Investors like fixed income because of its predictable income, capital preservation, and the ability to balance risk in a broader investment strategy. For simplicity, we've included three bonds, one government bond, one corporate bond, and one municipal bond. The government bond has the lowest yield as it's least risky, while the corporate bond has the highest yield reflecting its elevated risk. Next, let's perform some intermediary calculations. First, let's calculate the portfolio weightings. To do this, we'll divide the bond's market value by the total portfolio value. However, to find the market value, we take the market price of each bond and multiply this by the face value. We can then drag this down. Let's now calculate the weights as mentioned. As you can see, the municipal bonds has the highest weights, followed by the government bonds. Let's now turn to the maturity and the duration. Maturity and duration are two distinct but important concepts. Maturity is the length of time until the bond's principal or face value is repaid to the bondholder. So a bond with a 10 year maturity means that the issuer has 10 years to pay back the principal along with interest payments. Duration represents the weighted average time it takes to receive all the bond's cash flows and represents a bond sensitivity to interest rates. To calculate the maturity, we take the maturity date and then we subtract today's date and we assume this to be the 1st of January 2024. We'll also add absolute references here to ensure this remains static when we drag it down. And then we divide this by 365 to give the number of years. Next, let's turn to the duration, which can be approximated by taking the maturity divided by 1 plus the yield to maturity for each bond. Now that our intermediary calculations are ready, we can calculate the weighted average yield, maturity and duration of the overall portfolio. To calculate the weighted average yields and therefore have an idea of the overall yield we expect from our portfolio, we'll multiply each bond's yield to maturity by its portfolio weight. And to do this, we can use the sum product function. Similarly, we'll calculate the weighted average maturity to understand the average time until the bonds in our portfolio mature. And once again, we can use the same function to do this. And finally, we can repeat the same process for the duration, which as mentioned, is a measure of the sensitivity of a bond's price to changes in interest rates. Now that we've calculated the key metrics for our fixed income portfolio, Let's analyze what these numbers tell us. The weighted average yield of our portfolio is 3.02%, which means that on average, we can expect a return of 3.02% per year from this portfolio. This yield accounts for the coupon payments and the market value of the bonds in the portfolio. While a higher yield may suggest better returns, it could also indicate higher risk, especially with corporates or high yield bonds. The maturity tells us that on average, the bonds in our portfolio 
will mature in about 7.33 years. And the duration is 7.12, which tells us that if interest rates were to rise by 1%, we can expect the value of the portfolio to fall by approximately 7.12%. Therefore, if we anticipate a rising rate environment, we may want to shorten the duration by investing in shorter term bonds to reduce interest rate risk. In summary, this portfolio is therefore designed for moderate returns with moderate interest rate risk. So that's it for today. By understanding key metrics like yields, maturity, and duration, you can tailor the portfolio based on the risk reward preferences. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.